Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome to part two of the Fredbear Family Diner restaurant tutorial. As you can see in part one, we've done the exterior. So if you haven't checked out that video, again, there'll be a link in the description. I do recommend you check that video out first before watching today's episode. Uh, so as I said, this is part two. In this video, we're going to be diving into the interior, mainly focusing on the layout. As you can see, this is kind of the finished product. A little dark, but we'll have to let that slip for now. Uh, doing mostly the walls and some of the detail in this seating area uh, and just the general kind of core interior structure. There will be a part three coming out later this week where we dive more into the smaller details such as the tables and all that good stuff. So again, stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already and you're one of the 90 percent, yes, I said it right, 90 percent of viewers on the channel who have not, for whatever reason, hit that subscribe button. Please remember it's free, but also remember we are on the race to 100 thousand subscribers and there's nothing not a better feeling than to be part of that achievement so again join the journey join the achievement hit the subscribe button it is much appreciated once again that is gummy to 100k and we are rapidly approaching it so again once again thank you for the support it was great to see everyone loving the first video of course we will be working on more projects in the future like this uh, but once again i want to give a huge huge shout out to the designers that's going to be again satori taco poopy and fnaf gamer 165 their information will be in the description down below without further ado let's jump straight into the part two of the fredbear family diner tutorial just before the video starts i want to do a quick little plug if you do enjoy my content and want to support the channel please consider using my support a creator code in the fortnite item store that is g u m m m y y y so gummy with three m's and three y's this applies to all purchases on the item store it doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me create more regular content for you guys to hopefully enjoy okay so to start the video we're going to crack on over to the chest here and we're going to start off by listing off the blocks you're going to need to build this now by the fact that they are in chests, you're going to kind of infer from that and you'd be right to infer there is going to be indeed a lot of blocks so what I'm going to do, that's chest number one. Please feel free to pause the video and grab them. I will run through each block by block. That's the first of two chests, and again, that's the second chest. So again, if you want to pause, please feel free to do so. But anyways, as I said, this is the first chest. In the first chest, this is the kind of majority of the normal blocks you're going to be needing for the actual interior. And then in the second chest, this area down here is for the additional areas, i.e. the kitchen area and also uh, the kind of front counter area um as i said which will kind of be separate uh later on in the video but anyways in terms of the blocks you're going to need you'll need blue wool acacia logs signed terracotta clay polished diorite bricks dark oak planks quartz yellow terracotta lime wool packed ice grass blocks brown wool purple wool stone bricks oak planks yellow wool never bricks Grey stained glass, white stained glass, yellow glass, magenta glass, light blue glass, lime glass, white stained glass paint, light blue stained glass paint, dark oak wood stairs, acacia stairs, sandstone stairs, oak stairs, never brick stairs, jungle stairs, quartz stairs, spruce stairs, stone brick stairs, brick stairs, brick slabs, stone slabs, dark oak slabs, spruce slabs, quartz slabs, stone brick slabs, jungle slabs, never brick slabs, acacia slabs, White concrete, light blue concrete, magenta concrete, grey concrete, light grey concrete, red concrete, grey concrete powder, blue concrete, and cobblestone walls. So again, if you want to pause here, grab them blocks into your inventory, that would be great. And then straight into the second chest, you'll need yellow concrete, purple concrete, black concrete, lime, orange concrete, red carpet, wooden trap doors, tripwire hooks, stone buttons, lime carpet, yellow carpet, brown carpet, sign carpet, Never brick fence, dark oak fence, iron bars, redstone comparators, signs, skeleton skulls, end rods, and then for the additional section, polished stand site, block of redstone, terracotta, chests, furnace, anvil, spruce fence gate, grey carpet, redstone, and levers. So again, if you want to pause and grab them, that will be fantastic. Okay, so we are going to start off. We'll grab an array of the blocks into my inventory. I'm going to focus primarily on the kind of non-wall-based blocks, uh, so mainly on the various concretes. Also grab an array of the stairs and slabs just for good measure. Uh, however, we shall try 
to make sure that we have some space to play around in the inventory. So that'll be great. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by grabbing ourselves our stone brick stairs. And I will explain what this is in a second. Uh, but we're going to start off at the front door right next to the entrance to the right of this red concrete where we left off last time. We're going to punch out a four wide by three thick area. So one, two, three. And we're going to extend this for the whole doorway area. And what we're also going to do is grab ourselves our red concrete and underneath the red concrete either side we're going to extend this down so it looks like this. And then starting from the left side we're going to go three facing forwards, we're then going to go three facing backwards, three facing forwards and three facing backwards. And it gives us this nice kind of crisscross grill pattern that looks great and that's going to be the front entrance bringing us into this area here which you will see is slightly different to where we left off last time. First off, we're missing the roof. Ignore that, do not punch out the roof. That's just so I can show you more aerial shots throughout the video and also to make the whole area a little bit lighter because otherwise it is relatively dark inside the building. So again, don't worry about removing the roof. I've just done this for video purposes, uh, but more noticeably, you'll probably notice the floor. So what I've gone ahead and done, and I did this off camera prior to starting the video, is I replaced the floor. And the reason I did this is because frankly, it takes forever. It takes a long old time. But what we've done is from the door side, we've got this pattern of blue concrete, wall, concrete, wall, and we've expanded this all the way to the right, uh, or to the left, sorry, and a little bit to the right. Now in terms of the right side, what we have done is we've got the first window here from the windows to so the last block of glass, the panes. We've got one, two, three, and four, and then we go straight into the pattern of white and black concrete from here, to the window that is 14 blocks so again it doesn't matter if it's 100% perfect uh, because once we start adding the detail and you start placing the chairs because this is where the chairs are going to be you'll notice what is positioned correctly and you can adjust the floor as necessary uh, but for now if you want to get a little bit ahead of the game I guess you can say fill in this section with blue concrete and blue wall on a striped pattern again doesn't really matter the orientation and then the section here which is 14 wide using the black and white concrete. When I say 14 wide, I'm not referring to this layer here. This would be the 15th layer, do bear that in mind. Anyways, now we've got that out of the way, hopefully, as I said, if you want to pause the video and build the floor, you're more than welcome to. You don't have to, uh, but it does make sense before we build the interior, of course, because it makes it a bit more complicated. Anyways, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off at the door and we're gonna expand everything backwards by two blocks. So all the red concrete, we're gonna expand two blocks backwards. For the top layer, it's gonna be one block backwards because of course it is already one block thicker than the rest of the area. Uh, so again, two blocks backwards all the way across. And once you've done that, it ends up looking something like this. So again, that is the first step complete. What we're then going to do is we're going to expand over to the sides. Now, one thing to consider is to make sure that all windows are fully encapsulated by blocks. What I mean by this is no sides are empty or missing. So what I would do, and I'm not actually going to do it because I've just realized I don't have the blocks to hand. Or actually, I have the light gray. So let's say it looks like this. You want to make sure that it is fully surrounded. There is no gaps. And the reason behind this is because this layer here is actually going to be a void area. There's going to be nothing there. We're actually going to build over it and cover it up. Uh, a little kind of cheat uh, to make life a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our acacia logs. And to the left of this doorway we've just built, we're going to place one, two acacia logs. We're then going to grab ourselves our grey concrete powder. We're going to place one grey concrete powder, followed by four cyan terracotta, followed by one grey concrete powder. And that's going to take us all the way to the roof area. What we're then going to do, and of course I haven't actually got the block I need, we're going to get ourselves our dark oak stair. And to the right of this acacia log, we're going to place one two, three, four, five, upside down of our uh, dark oak stair. And then above that, we're gonna place five normal dark oak stairs, followed by two acacia logs, one light gray, or sorry, not light gray, one gray concrete powder, one, two, three, four cyan terracotta, and one gray concrete powder. Now above the window, we're gonna place a row of five cyan terracotta, We'll place a second layer, followed by a layer of grey concrete powder. 
and then we're going to cap uh, it off two to the left. This time, we're going to swap out the clay for our light grey concrete. We'll place instead of acacia, two light grey concrete. To the left of this, two acacia. And same as before, we'll place a layer of grey concrete powder, four layers of cyan terracotta, and a layer of grey concrete powder. And as you can see, it covers up. If you punch behind, there's still the gap, there's still the void, but that's completely fine. This is going to be our interior wall. As I said, it's going to be completely different to the exterior. For the next step, we are going to go diagonal forwards, and we're going to build up six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, using our signed terracotta. And then we're going to grab ourselves our polished diorite, and we're going to place one, two of our polished diorite. If you do it correctly, it should be one block shorter than the ceiling. That is intentional, and that's because this section here is going to have a ceiling which is actually two blocks shorter than the other area. Um, it looks really nice. It makes the room look a lot uh, kind of diff different uh, from the wider building, uh, but again, does require a little bit of work. So as I said, that's what that pillar is there for. We're not going to worry about that for now. We'll come back to that later on in the video. What we're then going to do is we're going to go diagonal back to the left, so heading back to the original layer, and we're going to start off by placing two acacia logs, two light grey concrete, two acacia logs, followed by five upside down stairs, two acacia logs, two light grey, two acacia logs, two light grey, and two acacia logs. And it ends up looking something like this. So in total, that's going to be 13 blocks tall. Now, above the dark oak stairs, we're going to place a second layer of dark oak stairs, again, just like before, this time upright. We're then, on top of all the logs and light grey concrete, we're going to place a row of grey concrete powder. On top of that, we're going to build up cyan terracotta all the way to the top, which in this case is going to be three blocks tall. So again, three layers of cyan terracotta. And what we're going to do is we'll link it in the middle, just above the window, five blocks wide, as you see ends up looking something like this. Now the reason this is of course two blocks shorter than this side is of course because of the ceiling. So the ceiling is going to come across all the way like this and is going to block off the top part. Uh, so again, it's important to bear that in mind, hence why it is two blocks shorter than this section. So for now, this is the first front part. If you want to pause, you're more than welcome to do so. And what we're then going to do is now crack on moving around to the right side of the build. Heading around to the right side now of the build, from this acacia log here, we're going to go diagonal to the left and we're going to alternate once again between the light grey and acacia. And we're going to do this in total six times. So you can see it's going to be three acacia logs and also three light grey concrete. On top of this, as we did previously, we're going to place a row of concrete powder, grey to be more specific, and then we're going to do three more layers of the cyan terracotta that's going to take us to the ceiling level, as you can see right there. What we're then going to do is to the left of this, we're going to place seven upside down dark oak stairs with seven normal ones directly above, and then we're going to continue the pattern over to this side. So again, we're working our way all the way across, so we're going to start off by placing a acacia log. We're then gonna place light gray concrete, acacia logs, light gray, acacia, and we're gonna alternate, as I said, between these two different blocks all the way until this point, uh, which we reach the window. Once we reach the window, we're then gonna place a row of seven dark oak stairs upside down. You probably guessed already, now we've got seven on top, normal facing, and then we're gonna continue this all the way to the end uh, this time using our uh, light grey concrete, followed by acacia log, light grey concrete, acacia logs, and light grey concrete. So for backup, it ends up looking something like this. So again, you can see pattern all the way across. As we did before, we're going to replicate, so we do a solid layer of grey concrete powder. And then on top of the grey concrete powder, we're going to do three layers of cyan terracotta. So once again, that's three layers of cyan terracotta. Above the windows, we're going to link up with one layer of cyan terracotta. So again, that's just going to be a case of seven for each window, because of course they are seven blocks wide. So you can see if I back up, that's what it looks like once you've encapsulated the window. And exact same on the left side with this window, like so. So what I'm going to do 
is again back up just so you can see this is what it looks like so far okay so once that is complete what we're then going to do is grab ourselves our clay blocks and we're going to come to this corner diagonal from this light gray uh, concrete here we're going to build up six using our clay blocks that's going to be one two three four five and six again it's going to be the exact same height as the rest of the area what you will notice, as I said, there's going to be these kind of vacuum areas. If you don't like that, please fill them in, but it doesn't really make much difference because they will be covered nonetheless. What we're then going to do is once again go diagonal, and we're going to, again, follow this pattern of acacia, followed by light grey, acacia, and light grey. And as I said, if you've done it correctly, there should be four uh, blocks of acacia and three blocks of our light grey concrete. Above this we're going to place once again a row of grey concrete powder, three rows of cyan terracotta and we are going to link it up with this window just here um, but again we'll discuss that in a moment. So for now this is what the uh, corner area looks like. If you want to pause you are more than welcome to do so. So starting off with the door on the left side we're going to place two light grey concrete, one grey concrete powder, and then free cyan terracotta. In front of this, we're going to place six blocks of clay, but then going back to the original point, in front of this window area, we're going to start off to the left and to the right of this glass by placing cyan terracotta, and then underneath we're going to place a row of four, and it's going to link left side to right side. Above the window, we'll also cap it off with four cyan terracotta. Again, this won't be visible, but what it does is it makes sure there's no gap above the window so that when we fill in the roof, as I said, it is not see-through. So this is the door area. Once again, if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. The next step we're going to work on is to the left of the clay blocks, we're going to build up six blocks using our cyan terracotta. What we're then going to do is build 13 blocks forwards towards the front door, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we're going to build up 5 blocks in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So again, it's 6 blocks overall. Once we've done that, we're going to grab ourselves our brick stairs. And we're going to fill this all in with the brick stairs facing towards the rear of the building. So once again, we're going to have them all line by line facing towards the rear side of the building again it's a little bit tedious you can see it's kind of a little uh, shortcut you can do where you just go back and forth back and forth uh, but essentially if the general gist is you're going to have five tall area and it's going to be 11 blocks wide of these bricks or 12 blocks wide sorry of these bricks and it's going to give you this kind of crisscross pattern uh, or the greater pattern which looks like this so it looks very very nice and it's going to split feedback kind of kitchen area with this dining room area like so. So again, if you want to pause, that is 13 blocks forwards and then six blocks tall at the front side. If we head round to the left of this walled area, what we're gonna do is we're gonna count six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. On the seventh block, we're then gonna extend it one, two forwards. And then on top of this, we're gonna grab ourselves our bricks and we're gonna build up one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on top of that we're going to place two cyan terracotta. So again that's two cyan terracotta. Now of course at this point we're at the stage where the roof is back to the normal height. So if I grab myself the polished diorite, we're going to link the roof all the way across, so directly above the uh, brick stairs. We're going to build all the way across until we hit the front side with a two tall area of polished diorite. So once again, that is a two tall area of polished diorite, and that's gonna be going from left side to right side, all the way across, capping off the top of the brick stair section. Now what we're also gonna do is we're gonna fill this whole area in directly in line with this using our polished diorite. Now of course I'm not gonna do this on camera, but what I am going to do is the outer ring, and the reason behind that is because we are going to be using some slabs to kind of add some additional detail. Uh, so again, it's important to have the outer ring complete so that we can actually build those slabs afterwards. Uh, but as I said, the majority of the placement will be doing off camera uh, just to save a little bit of time. So you can see I've added this kind of inner ring, and as I said, I'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, but for now, 
as I said, we're going to move on to the next stage, which is building further, uh, more of the walls, should I say, of the interior of the building. So we've got this first area here. As I said, it should now be in line with the top of the polished diorite, so the exact same height as the rest of the building. What we're going to do is we are going to leave from this cyan terracotta a free block gap, so one, two, three, and then we're going to place 12 cyan terracotta, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And on top of this, what we're going to do is a row of 12 bricks. Then what we're going to do is grab ourselves, and we'll have to take a trip outside, our white glass. So again, that's going to be our white glass. And we're going to start off on the next layer. So this is the third row. We'll do one, two, three bricks on both the left side and the right side. And we're going to fill the middle area in. So this is going to be a 10 by 3 area using white glass blocks. So again, that's white glass blocks. On top of this, we're going to cap this off with two layers of bricks. On these two layers of bricks, we're also going to build across to the right area here. So again, we extend it three to the right for both the two layers. And we're also going to bring it one layer down. So one layer below the window, like so. And then on top of all of this, we're going to build all the way across. It's going to be a 17 wide area in total using our cyan terracotta. If I back up, as I said, currently should look something like this. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to grab myself the stone slabs, so plain stone slabs. And on this doorway area here, we're going to start off by placing three stone slabs. And then underneath that, we're going to leave half a block gap and we're going to place three more stone slabs. And that's going to be the doorway. As I said, this is kind of the basic part. Uh, we will be adding much more detail, but what we're doing at the start is kind of just adding the overall uh, full blocks and then we'll come back with the details once we have the basic layout complete. So let me clean up my inventory a little more just so we have some more room. What we're going to do is we're also going to extend out two blocks to the left using red concrete and we're going to build this all the way to the top minus one block and on the final layer we're going to place two brick slabs like so. Behind the brick slabs we're going to place two red concrete so from the front side, it should look something like this. And what we're then going to do is on the bottom, in front of it, we're going to place a 2x2 two two of red concrete. We're then going to leave a free block gap and place another 2x2 two two of red concrete with slabs on top and slabs below, as you can see, like that. So again, that's both using brick slabs. Then to the left of this, in line with the original layer, we are going to place two of our light grey concrete and then we're again going to follow this exact same pattern so we're going to have a grey concrete powder, four cyan terracotta and one grey concrete powder. This then brings us to a doorway here so we're going to leave a one two block gap and then we're going to place our acacia logs, so we're going to place two acacia logs followed by one grey concrete powder, four cyan terracotta and one grey concrete powder. For the doorway itself, again, we're going to have to grab ourselves our dark oak slabs. So we'll need two dark oak slabs. We're going to count up four blocks. And in line with the top of the fourth block, we're going to place two dark oak slabs. On top of this, we're going to place three rows of cyan terracotta, one row of grey concrete powder. And it ends up looking like this. From here, we're going to go diagonal to left and we're going to place two acacia logs. In front of this, two light grey concrete two acacia logs and two light grey concrete and above all this we're going to place grey concrete powder. In this corner here we will place the blocks, we'll place two light grey concrete with a grey concrete powder. Above all this we're going to place four rows of cyan terracotta and then as you can probably guess a layer of light or not light grey, grey concrete powder to cap it all off. Uh, it is important you place this row here because this will fit into a wall uh, that we're going to be building later. So again, don't ignore the bit in the corner, hence why there is the kind of the two blocks that meet, is because on this side it won't, and if you have it different, it's going to look pretty weird. So again, that's the reason we do this, and you can see it's starting to now bend around to the front side. We're now going to curve it around to the left, and kind of extend out this way. So from this corner here, we are going to extend to the left. We're going to place one acacia log, one light grey concrete, one acacia log, one light grey concrete, one acacia log, and one light grey concrete. So again, there is going to be three blocks of each. Both are going to be two blocks tall. 
On top of all that, we're going to place a row of grey concrete powder. And on top of that, we're going to place four rows of cyan terracotta, followed by a row of grey concrete powder to bring us all the way to the top. So again, if I back up, you can see it's now curving around to the left side. We're then going to bring it forwards. So what we're going to do next is we are going to build up uh, one to the left using acacia, but then we're also going to bring it forwards one. So again, this will cause a slight issue in this room. You'll have two blocks together, but it's not massively noticeable. In front of this, we're going to place light grey concrete, acacia, and one light grey concrete. And again, we're going to do row of grey concrete powder, four rows of cyan terracotta, and then capped off with one final layer of grey concrete powder. Continuing now to the left side, we're going to extend this. So again, we're going to go one acacia wood, one light grey concrete, and then on top of again, we're going to repeat the pattern. So grey uh, concrete or grey concrete powder, four cyan terracotta and grey concrete. To the left of this, we're going to place a row of red concrete or two rows of red concrete all the way to the top. And again, just like before, the top layer is going to be brick slabs with two red concrete directly behind it. What we're then going to do is at the bottom, we'll place a 2x2. Two two. We'll also place a 2x2 two two at the top with brick slabs above and below like so. We're then, to extend further to the left, this time we're going to go nine blocks to the left. We're once again going to alternate. So we're going to go acacia, light grey, acacia, light grey. Acacia and light grey. So again, that is one more. And then on top of all of these, we're going to do our usual pattern again of light grey. I don't know why I keep saying light grey. Grey concrete powder, four cyan terracotta, and then a row of grey concrete powder. Okie dokie. So once I've finished this, I'll back up show you what it should look like at this point in time. So again, you should have currently something that looks like this. So you've got the kitchen area, then it curves around to the left, and then we're now at the point uh, almost by the stage area, which is going to be right here. So from this point here, we are going to leave a two block gap. We're then going to build up two using light grey concrete, one grey concrete powder, four cyan terracotta, one grey concrete powder. We're then going to grab ourselves our stone slabs and we're going to build up one, two, three to this third layer here. We're going to place two stone slabs on the upper half. On top of this, we're then going to place four rows of cyan terracotta and a layer of grey concrete powder. So again, if I back up, it should look something like this. Okie dokie. So to the left of this, we now have a door. So for this door, we're going to build up four blocks using dark oak planks. We're then going to grab our slabs and we're going to place one, two. We're then going to, to the left of this, place another row of four dark oak planks. And it's going to give you a door that looks like this. So again, it's four blocks tall with two slabs in the middle linking them together. We're then going to place three layers of cyan terracotta, one layer of grey concrete powder. And that's going to be our second doorway. So we've got this doorway and a second one like so. To the left of this, we're going to place two rows of red concrete. Again, all the way to the top, minus one layer. On the top layer, probably know it by now, we're going to place two brick slabs. Behind it, two red concrete. In front, two by two at the top and two by two at the bottom. And then brick slabs both on the top and bottom side like so. Next to this, so to the left of it, we're going to place two acacia logs, one grey concrete powder, four cyan terracotta, and one grey concrete powder. And this is going to bring onto this wall on the left side of the building, uh, linking into the stage area. So to the left of this acacia log, we're going to go, and we'll actually just switch these over just so it's a little easier. We're going to go light grey, acacia, light grey, acacia, light grey, acacia, and then we're going to go diagonal forwards using our grey concrete this time, and we're going to build up eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're then going to go one block to the right, 
and underneath this we're going to place seven cobblestone walls so again underneath the gray concrete we're going to place seven cobblestone walls on this section here we're going to do the usual so we build them all up two blocks tall we're going to do four layers oops sorry one layer of gray concrete powder followed by four layers of cyan terracotta and then capped off with one layer of gray concrete powder so again that's just kind of the standard wall pattern at this point so if i back up it looks like this also make sure to place a block right here so we'll just place a cyan with a gray concrete powder on top just so there's not a gap like so so again that's that back corner here moving over now to the stage area we're once again going to grab ourselves our dark oak stairs and in front of this window we're going to place a row of dark oak stairs upside down with a row of dark oak stairs normal way up above it. To left and right we're going to place two light grey concrete, both with a grey concrete powder on top, four cyan terracotta and a grey concrete powder. So again four cyan terracotta, grey concrete powder. Above the window, right here, we're going to place a row of cyan terracotta, a second layer of cyan terracotta, and a layer of grey concrete powder. It ends up looking something like this. To the left of the window, we are going to place a row, once again, of eight grey concrete. So diagonal, we're going to place eight grey concrete, and one to left. Underneath this, we're going to place a row of cobblestone walls. And then, just like we did before, behind it, we're going to place acacia logs. So we'll place two acacia logs. To the left of it, light grey, acacia, light grey. Above all of these, we're going to place concrete powder. Four rows of cyan terracotta. So again, four rows of cyan terracotta. And a row of grey concrete powder. And if I back up, this is going to be the stage area. Of course, we are going to be building the stage in front of this. But right now, at this point in time, it's looking like this. So that brings us around now to the final side, this part here of the build, the kind of home straight, if you will. So what we're going to do to make this easier is in front of all the windows, we're going to place our double area of dark oak logs or dark oak um, stairs. So it ends up looking like this. So again, bottom row is upside down upper row normal facing. What we're then going to do is we're going to alternate between acacia and uh, our light grey. So I'll do all the acacia first just to speed up the process a little bit. Um, and then as I said what we do is we go ahead afterwards. Uh, so next to the window here we'll make it symmetrical. So it'll go if I grab a light grey. We'll go back and we'll do all the blocks uh, just to make it a little bit easier. So we've got light grey here. On the other side of the window, we'll do light grey, and then we'll go back to alternating, and we finish on a light grey concrete. So make all of them two blocks tall. So again, all of them two blocks tall. And then above this, just like we've done previously on all the other ones, we're going to do a layer of our grey concrete powder, followed by four layers of cyan terracotta, and a layer of grey concrete powder. So again, it's the exact same as all the other ones, but what this means is we've finished the kind of walls of the main bit of the building. There is a few bits more we have to work on uh, around the backside when we're getting to the kind of storage area and the uh, kitchen area. But again, we'll worry about that in a moment. For now, as you can see, I'm just filling this all in. And then also we want to make sure we encapsulate the windows. Uh, so directly above the windows, again, you want to make sure that you place the rows of cyan terracotta and also grey concrete powder uh, just to ensure that they are fully built into the walls we don't have any gaps that's kind of the main thing is as long as you have encapsulated merlot you won't have any gaps around the sides if you haven't done that uh, then you might so again it's just a case of filling in all the gaps and making sure it actually looks finished so <laughs> once we've done that that is the first stage i guess you could say the layout of the walls complete as I said, above the windows, we'll just do 5x2 of cyan, followed by a row of grey concrete powder. And exact same for this second window here. Um, and that's, yeah, that's kind of the more simplistic part of the video complete. 
So it ends up looking something like this. So as I said, we aren't actually finished with all the walls. We have got a few more left to do, um, but mainly around this rear side of the build once we get into those areas. So we'll come back to that. Uh, we're going to go back to the original part, the front door, and we're actually going to add a few details here, this time using our red concrete and our brick slabs. So we're going to start off on the left side. We'll place a 2x2 two two of red concrete. We'll do the exact same on the right side. And both of these, we're going to place two brick slabs. We're then going to come up to the top and we're going to place a 3x2 on both the left and right side. And we're going to link it in the middle by placing two rows of four. And then underneath the two rows of four, one block backwards. So in front of the glass blocks, we're going to place four brick slabs. What we're then going to do is underneath the red concrete here, we're going to place two brick slabs on either side. And then we're going to double up the brick slabs are already here. So it links up and links diagonally with the brick slabs we just placed. Once you've done that, the door ends up looking something like this, and that is perfect. So again, as I said, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to head around to the rear side, so this back room area. This is going to be the kitchen area here, and then we've got this kind of back storage room. So starting off, the rear side of this door area here should look like this. So again, that's what we built previously. What we're then going to do is work our way around to the right side, so from this red concrete here, we're going to go diagonal and we're going to place acacia wood. We're then going to place light grey concrete. We're then going to grab ourselves our dark oak stairs and we're going to place a row of upside down stairs. On top of this, a row of normal stairs. To the side of this, we're then going to go light grey concrete, acacia, light grey, acacia, light grey and acacia. And then again, as before, on top of all of the blocks, we place a row of grey concrete powder, four cyan terracotta, and then on top of all of this, we're going to place our grey concrete powder to cap it off and bring us to the ceiling. So again, that's all the way to the top. Final, final layer, grey concrete powder. And above the window, again, that's going to be two layers of cyan, and one layer of grey concrete powder. And that's going to be this window area right here. What we're also going to do is grab ourselves our spruce wood slabs. And we're going to add some detail to this window in particular. So starting off next to the grey concrete powder here on the upper half, we're going to place two slabs. Below the second slab, we're going to go down one. Continuing now to right side, we're going to go one, two to right, up one, one, two to right, up one and one block to the right and that's going to bring you to the edge. From this area here where we went up we're going to go up diagonal to the left, we're then going to go up diagonal to the left again and to the left one. From this block here, the second one, we're going to go up diagonal to right, to the right one, we're then going to go down diagonal like so. For the next step we're going to go to the top corner here, we're going to go up diagonal and to the right one. And then in the bottom corner, so from this block here, we're going to go down diagonal to right one and up diagonal in the corner like so. And it's going to give you this kind of boarded up pattern. Again, that's completely what it should be looking like. So if you want to pause, you're more than welcome to do so. We're then going to head around to this rear wall here. Now this rear wall is going to be 30 blocks wide. So I'm going to do the majority of this off camera. But again, it's going to comprise of acacia and uh, light grey concrete. And it's going to go all the way across 30 blocks in total. On top of the two layers, again, we're going to do a layer of grey concrete powder, four layers of cyan terracotta, and a layer of grey concrete powder. So I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to build, again, 30 blocks to the side. And I'll be back in a moment once that's complete. Okay, so you can see I've gone ahead and built that all the way across. The easiest way to know you've done it correctly is it should line up with this wall right here, which is going to extend to the left side. So as I said before, it was important that we had this here because we are going to extend it, so the light grey concrete. To the left of this, we're going to place acacia logs, light grey concrete, acacia logs, light grey concrete, and acacia logs until we have a two block gap. Above this standard, we're going to place a row of grey concrete powder, four layers of cyan terracotta, and a layer of grey concrete powder. But then above the doorway, we're going to grab ourselves our stone slabs 
and in line with the grey concrete powder we're going to place two stone slabs and above this we're going to place four layers again of cyan terracotta and a layer of grey concrete powder. This is going to be the doorway that goes into the corridor here which links into that door and then there's going to be a wall here and then the kitchen area. So this is the back kind of storage area which we'll be working on later in the video. We're then going to head into the area here as discussed a second ago. We're going to start off by extending to the right here one, two, three and four and again exact same as standard. We're going to be placing again a row of grey concrete powder, four layers of cyan terracotta and a layer of grey concrete powder. We're then going to go diagonal forwards and we're going to place eight tall of cyan terracotta. We're going to extend this forwards until it hits this wall here. So again, all the way forwards until it hits the red concrete. We're then going to fill the middle area all the way to the top using bricks, apart from the top layer, which is going to be using our cyan terracotta. So all the way to the top, minus one layer using our bricks. And then once we get to the top layer, we're going to do cyan terracotta all the way across apart from this one red uh, concrete in the top corner, which is, of course, going to be uh, related to this area right here. So as I said from above, this is the corridor. If you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. As stated before, there is also the two slabs on top of the doorway, uh, so make sure you have those. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, that's that area right there. We're now going to head into the final room, which we need to build walls for, which is, of course, the kitchen area. We're going to start off in the back corner um, next to the doorway. So we're going to start off actually in front of the door. We'll leave, uh, so we'll grab ourselves, which I don't think we actually have. We'll grab ourselves some blue terracotta. And either side of the door, we're going to place two blue terracotta. And in front of the left one, we're going to place light grey concrete. We'll then place acacia, light grey, acacia, light grey, and acacia. And then on the right side, exact same applies so we'll go acacia light gray acacia light gray acacia light gray acacia light gray acacia and light gray all the way to the corner and then just like we have done many a time in this video we'll do a layer of gray concrete powder four layers of cyan terracotta and then a layer of gray concrete powder now with regards to the doorway more importantly we're going to grab ourselves our stone slabs and above the door in line with the top of the grey concrete powder in line with the slabs we already have we're going to place two stone slabs and then above that we're going to build across using our cyan terracotta as we have before and that's going to link everything up and give us our solid wall and that's going to be the final main wall we need to build in this video. Uh, once we've done that it's purely kind of interior details and all that good stuff. So if I back up, once I've done that, you'll see we've got this kitchen area, which we're going to replace the floor on. So we'll actually replace the floor using our terracotta. So let me grab ourselves a terracotta and we'll do that off camera as well. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it for the actual interior layout. So again, what I'm going to do here is I'll pause the video and I'll be back in a moment once I've finished replacing this floor. Okie dokie, so I've gone ahead and replaced that. One further thing we want to do is in this corner here, we're going to build a pillar of red concrete just to cover up that area there, and that's also going to be the majority of the detail in this room. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually start focusing on building some of the interior details, uh, as I mentioned before. So what we are going to do is we're going to have to have another little inventory cleanup. So let's head on out to here and let's grab some new blocks. This is where it's going to get slightly more tricky in terms of the actual uh, block and inventory management. So we're going to start off and we will grab, um, we'll walk into here. Whoops, if I can actually fly, that is. And we're going to start off to the left of the door. We're going to start off with our quartz blocks and our quartz slabs, and we're going to start building some clouds, as weird as that sounds. Directly on the top right corner of this window area here, we're going to place a quartz slab, a quartz block, and a quartz slab. We're then going to go up, to the left, to the left again, and then once again, we're going to place a quartz block with a quartz slab either side. So that's going to be our two cloud blocks. 
From here, what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our sign terracotta, which I have, of course, thrown away. Um, and we are going to build across this little roof bit here, which is how we're going to make it transition a little bit smoother. So we're going to place two cyan terracotta. And then underneath this, we're going to place a stone slab. This stone slab, we're going to extend all the way across. So all the way across to the other side, like so. And then above this, what we're going to do is a pattern between our stone brick uh, stairs and our cyan terracotta. So what we're going to do is every two blocks, we're going to place two cyan terracotta. So we leave a two block gap, two cyan terracotta, two block gap, and then we rinse and repeat this all the way across until we hit the end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place on the lower half two stone brick stairs normal facing. So again, that's two normal facing stone brick stairs. And then on the upper half, we're going to place two upside down stone brick stairs like so. So again, we do that all the way across and it's going to give you something that looks like this. Now in front of this, we're going to grab ourselves our dark oak slabs. On In line with the top layer, we're going to place a row of dark oak slabs all the way across. And again, that's going to cover up a little bit of that. We're going to have this going all the way around the interior of the building, so do bear that in mind. But it gives you something that looks like this. So again, it's that kind of continuous uh, almost support beam linking the front side to the rear side of the building. We're going to continue this on the rear side in this kitchen area here as well. So again, what we're going to do is we'll leave two block gap like so. And then we're going to place two normal stairs followed by upside down stairs. And then underneath it, we're going to place a row of stone slabs. And in front of it, a row of dark oak slabs. Now there will be some stuff in the corner here, so don't worry about that. We'll come back to it. But for now, that's that step complete. The next step we're going to be working on is the little front desk area, the, cou uh, the counter, if you will. I was about to say the kitchen counter, but we'll call it the counter. Uh, for this, we are going to need our red carpet. We're also going to need our white stained glass paints um, and also uh, our stone brick slabs. So grab them into your inventory. We're going to come to this area here, so the very front corner, and one block backwards we're going to grab ourselves our red concrete and we're going to go one two three to the left we're then going to go six to the left using our white glass panes four to the left using red concrete leave a two block gap and then go two to the left and then one two three uh, backwards behind here we're going to place a row of cyan terracotta all the way across until we hit the doorway and above that we're going to place a row of stone brick slabs again all the way across. On the fourth and fifth block from the left, we're, or fourth, fifth and sixth block, we're gonna punch out three blocks. And in front of that, we're gonna place a row of three upside down quartz stairs. What we're then gonna do, and this is where again, inventory management, we're gonna place from left to right, one magenta concrete, one light blue concrete, and one red concrete. We're then going to grab ourselves our tripwire hooks. So we'll need three of our tripwire trip, uh, hooks. Bit of a tongue twister. We're going to place three across like so. And then we're going to place three stone slabs on top of it. Bring it a layer forwards. And then extend three blocks to the left. And six blocks to the right. And it's going to end up giving you this kind of counter. Uh, like you would see in a fast food restaurant. What we're then going to do is in this gap here, we're going to place two trap doors. That's going to be the little entrance to the kitchen area. To the right of it, we're going to place, we'll leave a one block gap. We'll place a stone brick stair. And then on front of that, we're going to place a sign, but we'll grab that in a moment. And then either side of this on the red concrete, we're going to surround it with a solid layer of red carpet, including above the glass to give it that kind of countertop surface. In the front corner here, we are going to place two cyan terracotta with two stone brick slabs on top. What we're then going to do is we are going to place a solid row directly above the window of 12 stone brick slabs from left to right. And then what you can do 
is you can either leave it plain or you can grab your cobblestone walls and you can place two cobblestone walls on both the left side and the right side just as kind of a holder between the two slab areas and it ends up looking something like this. The next step we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our spruce stairs. From here we're going to leave a one block gap, we're going to place one upside down spruce stair, leave a two block gap, another stair, and then in between we're going to place two slabs and we'll grab ourselves one of the end rods uh, which we're just going to place on top as a small little detail. We'll also grab ourselves a sign whilst we're here. Uh, so what we'll do is on the second slab we'll place an end rod, lights it up nicely. On the back of the cash register we'll place a sign and that's going to be this little kitchen area complete. What we will also do is in this area we're going to replace the floor with clay blocks. So again that's the clay blocks, the grey variety. So again it's just a case of punching all the carpet out that we'd placed previously and replace them with our grey uh, clay blocks or just our standard clay blocks I guess you would call it, not grey because uh, it is just the default ones that you get from under the water. Um, but what we will do is underneath the glass we're going to leave that with the blue stripes. It's only behind, directly behind the counter uh, that we'll place the clay blocks and it ends up looking something like this. So again you can see it's starting to look super super detailed. What we're going to do now is continue round to the left side. So we're going to continue with the door, we're going to add some detail to the doorway. So we're going to start off by grabbing ourselves our dark oak and we're going to start off in front of the area here by placing a dark oak plank with a dark oak stair. We're then going to place an upside down dark oak stair, one dark oak plank and a row of four slabs. On the right side, exact same. So we're going to place plank, stair, upside down stair, plank. And what we're then going to do is in front of this area here, we're going to place two more slabs just to double it up and it ends up looking something like this. We're then going to grab ourselves our quartz block and slab and above this we're going to leave on the left side half a block gap. We're going to place slab, block, slab and that's going to be another cloud. Now one thing to mention um, which we need to add is of course the little slab going around the top of the build area. Uh, so what we're going to start off by doing is we're actually going to place in line with the sign terracotta here we're going to bring it forwards a layer all the way across at the top and we'll do that in the corner here as well and then underneath this we are going to place a row of stone brick slabs so again that's going to link left side to right side and in front of that we're then going to grab ourselves our dark oak slabs and we're going to build all the way across to the left side and then it's going to wrap around so above the red here it's going to wrap around so it's going to go backwards one all the way to the left and then it's going to go forwards to the left forwards and to the left and we'll worry about this part in a moment but as you can see it ends up looking something like this if you want to pause again please feel free to do so and we're now going to continue now to this section right here so for this section we're going to grab ourselves our white concrete we are also going to need our never brick slabs so let's grab them out of the chest uh, wherever they may be there they are so we're going to grab ourselves our white concrete we're going to fly elegantly back into the room and we're going to start off on this corner here by leaving a two block gap we're then going to place a three by three of white concrete on top of this at the back side we're going to place three white concrete we're then going to place never brick slab and then a quartz slab never brick slab quartz slab never brick slab Above this section here, we're going to place a never brick slab, bring it one forwards, punch out the rear and extend twice to the right. So it's going to give you that kind of little shadow glitch. What you're then going to do is you're going to go up one. So we'll actually have to place a block here. So we're going to go again up half a block using our quartz slab. We're then going to place one never brick and one quartz. One thing I will say is if you have the prismarine slabs, use them. It does look really nice but I am indeed playing on the old version of Xbox, as uh, many of you have noticed, so I do not have access to those blocks. If you don't like that, alternatively, you could use spruce, so you can change it to spruce if you wish, uh, but again, 
I actually kind of like never brick. I do like spruce as well. So it's it's up to you. Whatever you think looks better, uh, that's going to be the little area there. We're also going to add two more clouds. So starting off directly above the uh, grey concrete powder here, we're going to place one quartz slab, one quartz block, and a quartz slab. And then we're going to go to the top left corner, second block from top of the um, grey or cyan terracotta. We're going to go one block to right, and we're going to place quartz, quartz block, and quartz slab. And again, that's going to be our second cloud for this section. As we work our way round to the side, again, we're now presented with another kind of desk area, another counter, if you will. So from this red concrete here, we're going to leave a three block gap, and then we're going to bring it one, two, three, four forwards. On the left side, to the left of the door, again, one, two, three, four. What we're then going to do is we are going to, on the left side, leave a two block gap. We're then going to place one red concrete. We're going to place four light or white stained glass panes. We're going to grab ourselves our red carpet and our trap doors once again. So wherever I put them previously. Um, and again, we will be placing this kind of front desk area. So let me try and find the trap doors. There it is. And we're going to surround the top counter with red carpet. We're going to place two trapdoors at the entrance and again surround the rest with red carpet like so. Once you've done that, we're going to grab ourselves the dark oak stairs and the dark oak slabs. We're then on the first layer here, we're going to go up one, place an upside down stair, one, two, three slabs and an upside down stair. We're then going to leave a one block gap and place again an upside down stair, three slabs and an upside down stair. And it's going to give you something that looks like this. What we're then going to do is using our quartz slabs, we're going to come to the left side. We're going to come up to the sign terracotta and we're going to go one and a half. So on the upper half of the second sign terracotta, we're going to place a quartz slab, bring it three blocks forward. So one, two, three. Eight blocks to the right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then backwards until it hits the wall. And again, that's going to be our outer ring for this upper area, in which we are once again going to need our white stained glass uh, panes. So grab the stained glass panes. We're going to place two layers of white stained glass panes, so all the way around this quartz slab perimeter that we've just established. And on top of this, we're going to place a row of red concrete. So on top of this, we're going to place a row of red concrete. So let me grab the red concrete and do that. So that's going to give it kind of the final edge, if you will. And then what we're going to do after that is we are going to fill in the middle once again with this red concrete. So fill in the middle with the red concrete. So we've got a solid roof on this area. And then back to our dark oak slabs, we're going to continue this all the way across and around this area that we've just built. So wrapping around the edge, all the way across, round to the left side, and then we're going to bring it in until we hit the grey concrete on this area just to the side of the stage. And it ends up looking something like this. So again, if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. The next thing we want to work on is going to be the door just here. So just like we did previously, we're going to place a dark oak plank. We're then going to grab ourselves our stairs. So we'll place a stair, an upside down stair, a dark oak plank, and four slabs. Exact same on this side. Plank, stair, upside down stair, plank, and then two slabs underneath. And that's going to make the door the exact same as the one on that side. If you want to add some lights, by the way, in here, you're more than welcome to do so. My kind of top tip for this, um, and it's something that I generally do with all of the builds, is we'll grab ourselves some sea lanterns and also some blue carpet. And underneath these gaps here, you can get away with placing uh, sea lanterns and then a blue carpet on top. And that's going to give you a bit more light in that area, which is, of course, perfect. It's very light now, but once you add the ceiling, it gets drastically darker. Uh, so do bear that in mind. Anyways, that is that section complete. Again, if you want to, please feel free to pause. Uh, what we are going to do now is we're going to take a little detour and we're going to head round to the side 
just next to the door, so just to the right of it. And again, it's going to require a bit more inventory management because there is a few additional blocks we will need for this section. So for this section in particular, we're going to need our yellow terracotta and our jungle uh, slabs and stairs. We're going to be building some arcade machines. Uh, so from this red concrete here, we're going to leave a one block gap. We're going to place two yellow terracotta, leave a two block gap, two yellow terracotta, two block gap, two yellow terracotta, two block gap. And again, you guessed it, two yellow terracotta. In front of each one on the lower half, we're going to place a jungle wood stair. And above, we're going to place two jungle wood slabs. You're more than welcome to put a picture or a photo or whatever you want to call it, a painting on each of them just to kind of make it look a bit more like an arcade screen. Uh, but that's up to you. What we're also then going to do is grab ourselves our quartz, both the slabs and the blocks. We're going to come in line with the brick slabs here. And we're going to go up one to this block, so the second from top uh, sign terracotta. Second block from left, we're going to place slab, block, slab. We're then going to go down directly above this third machine. So in line with the first block of sign terracotta. We're going to go on the upper half, one, one to left, one to right, and up one in the middle. That's all using slabs this time, so because it's half a block up. And again, if I back up, it should look something like this. As we continue to the right side, directly above the window, we're going to place once again another cloud. So we come to the second block. On the half, or upper half, we're going to place one, two, three, and then one block in the middle, and it ends up looking like this. And then we're going to continue now to the right side, to in line with the top of the window, we're going to place one, two, three, with a one block gap, up one in the middle. And from here, we're then going to leave a one, two block gap, go up diagonal, and we're going to place slab, block, slab, and it ends up being in line with the row just above the window on the right side. So again, that's three clouds in total. I'll back up just so you can pause. What we're then going to do is we are going to grab ourselves our never brick. It doesn't really matter if it's a block or a slab because we can just place two. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to the bottom left corner right here. From here, we're going to count across one, two, three, four, and five. And on the fifth block, so starting on this carpet here, we're going to go forwards one and two. And on the second block, we're going to place a never brick block. To write this, we place a second we're then going to grab ourselves our quartz slabs, or uh, stairs, sorry, and we're going to place an upside down stair facing both to the left and to the right. And then on either of these, we're going to grab ourselves from the chest a redstone comparator, and we're going to place on the left one a comparator facing towards the left, and turn it on, and on the right side one towards the right. And once you've done that, you can chuck out the comparator. You'll never need one of those again in your lifetime. So that's, again, just a small little uh, detail, and again, very very simple but please feel free to pause if you need to do so we're now going to head into the final kind of outer area of this room which is going to be the stage area and then that kind of leaves us with just the details in the middle but we're making really good progress so that is completely fine we're going to grab ourselves our gray concrete which i have uh in a silly way chucked away we're also going to grab ourselves our iron bars and also our stone buttons so three of the kind of materials we're going to be needing what we're going to do is we're going to come to the acacia logs in the middle. We're going to leave a one block gap and then we're going to place three gray concrete. On the three gray concrete, we're going to place three stone buttons. We're then going to go to the right and diagonal forwards and we're going to place this time four gray concrete and place four stone buttons in front of it. This is going to be our speakers, if you will. What we're then going to do is behind this, so starting on the taller one, we're going to go back one, two, one, two to the left, one, and to the left, and then up one, and that's going to be the wires for these uh, speakers going into the wall. The next step we're going to do in this back corner, before I forget, is we're going to grab ourselves our quartz slabs in line with the top of the window here, so this second layer of cyan terracotta. We're going to place one, two, three quartz slabs, so one block gap on the left and right, one in the middle, that's going to be our little cloud in this corner. With regards to the uh, grey concrete here, we are going to place on the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth blocks four stone buttons, and we're going to do that on the right side as well. So again, just kind of small, small details. Then what we're going to do, and for this we're going to require both our oak planks and also our never brick, um, never brick stairs. So let's get rid of a few blocks. We're going to build the stage area. Okay, so for the stage area, we're going to start off by placing a stair facing towards the left side. 
On top of this, we're going to place a never brick slab, and that's going to be positioned directly in front of the grey concrete we placed previously. What we're then going to do is we'll actually just grab a never brick. We're going to place diagonal to full odds to the right, a never brick with a slab on top. We're then going to place a never brick stair, once again with a slab on top. And then in front of this, again diagonal to the right, we're going to place a brick, stair facing forwards, brick, stair facing forwards, brick. On top of all these, we're going to place five slabs. And what we'll actually do is we'll just make the stair going forwards, just make it a little bit easier. Um, so facing forwards. We're then going to go diagonal. So we're going to go stair, block, and stair facing towards the side. Three slabs on all of them. And then in the gap here, we're going to fill it in solid using our oak planks. Now, if you've done it correctly, it should link up with these stairs at the back. So there's no gap. So you can see it kind of links in with the window, gives us this nice effect. And that's going to be the stage area now obviously on the right side we're going to have some additional speakers so we're coming to this first corner area here we're going to leave a two block gap and then we're going to place four of our gray concrete with four stone buttons we're going to go to right twice forwards one and we're going to place three with three stone buttons in front of it and just like we did on the left side behind it we're going to place some iron bars so on the left side we're going to go back twice to right twice backwards and then this time we're going to go up and to the right like so and that's going to be our little iron bars again almost like cables behind the uh, speakers what we'll then do is we'll grab ourselves our quartz slabs and our quartz blocks and we're going to place two clouds so we're going to start off in the top right corner next to the red concrete here we're going to place slab block and slab we're then going to go down a block like so and we'll go to the left one, and we're going to place a slab, and underneath that, three slabs like so. So again, you go to the left, down half a block, and ends up playing, uh, placing two of our clouds like this. So if I back up, currently it's looking like this. What we're going to do for the actual main stage area is we're going to grab ourselves, whoops, didn't mean to actually throw that out. We're going to grab ourselves our yellow concrete and also our yellow wall. So again, that's yellow concrete and yellow wall. So let me grab those from the chest. And we're going to head over to this area on the left side next to the grey concrete. From here, we're going to go diagonal forwards and we're going to place a row of six yellow concrete. So again, that's six yellow concrete. We're then going to go diagonal backwards and place five yellow wall. So again, that's one block shorter. We're going to go diagonal forwards and place four yellow concrete and then diagonal backwards and place three yellow wall. We'll then leave a one block gap and place three yellow wall. Diagonal forwards, we're gonna place four yellow concrete. Diagonal backwards, we are gonna place five yellow wall. And then diagonal forwards, we're gonna place six yellow concrete. And it ends up giving us something that looks like this. Don't worry about all the gaps here. Uh, they will be covered by the ceiling, so that's completely fine. In this middle bit, we're going to grab ourselves our stone slabs, and we're going to place a stone slab on the upper half, and then leave half a block gap and place another stone slab like so. And that's going to give you the stage area. If you're using a modded version of Minecraft, you're more than welcome to kind of put some custom characters on the stage. It looks really, really cool. If you're not, no worries at all. What we will also do whilst we're at it is in line with the grey concrete here, we're going to continue the dark oak slabs all the way across until we hit the original doorway. Uh, so you can see again all the way across until we hit that red concrete at the front side and then we'll continue over to the left side and link up with what we did previously. So we have this solid outer ring of dark oak slabs going around the interior of the building. So we're making really really great progress. What we're going to do is we're going to head into this rear room here and we're going to finish up the door just whilst we're at it. Uh, so exact same as before, we'll do a block, stair, upside down stair, block and a row of four slabs. Again on this side, block, stair, upside down stair, block and then two slabs in the middle and that's going to be our doorway. This brings us into this room here, uh, which we're going to add some detail to in a moment. Uh, so we'll come back to that later on in the video. But for now, we're going to focus on the main room and getting the majority of the details complete. 
Heading to this corridor here, simply because it's a simple thing to do, we're going to place again our doorway. So it's going to be dark oak, stair, upside down stair, block, four slabs, and then on this side, block, stair, upside down stair, block, two slabs in the middle, and again that's going to be a door for here. Simple as that, that's this corridor area complete. So for the area in the middle slash the seating area, we'll crack on actually with the seating area, make a little bit of progress here. What we're going to do is we're going to start off by placing some seating. So the seating areas, again, is going to require a bit of a kind of inventory change around. Uh, we're going to need our sandstone stairs. We'll need our purple and yellow concrete. So purple and yellow concrete. And let me grab that. Our stone slabs and also our dark oak slabs. So a few different blocks. We're going to come to the back corner next to the clay block here. We're going to start off by placing two purple concrete, two yellow concrete, two purple, two yellow, and two purple. On top of this, we're going to place a row of five stone slabs. In front of this, we're going to place a row of five sandstone stairs. We're going to leave a free block gap, and then we're going to place five sandstone stairs, and we're going to repeat the pattern. So it's going to be purple, whoops, two purple, two yellow, two purple, two yellow, two purple, with a row of five stone slabs on top. That's going to give you a booth area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our dark oak slabs, and on the upper half of the first layer here, we're going to place a five by three wide table, and that's going to be our table area. Now we're going to repeat this all the way across. There's going to be four more booths. There's going to be one, two, three, and roughly four, and that's going to be this area here. We're then going to repeat this on the front side. So with regards to the front side, we'll actually come over to this window area here. Directly in front of this sign terracotta here, we're going to place two purple, two yellow, purple, yellow, and purple. And then we're going to rinse and repeat. So five stone slabs on top. We're going to place five sandstone stairs. Leave a free block gap. Five sandstone stairs. Purple concrete, yellow concrete, purple, yellow, purple. Five stone slabs. And then in this middle section, if you place it correctly, you should be able to place like that. Uh, again, in the middle, a five by three on the upper half of the block using our dark oak slab so again that's a booth and what you'll know is you've done it correctly now with the floor if the floor is in line with the first layer of the booths and this blue wall is in line with the two cyan terracotta pillars which kind of split up the area so we're going to add a second booth here so again that's going to be looking like this so we'll do again the free block gap in the middle there's going to be a second row again of purple yellow purple yellow purple a row of stone slabs and our five by three area of dark oak slabs in the middle. So it's going to be our second booth on this side. We're then going to leave a gap and then in line with this area here, we're going to start up. So in line with the sign terracotta, we're going to place another booth. So again, it's going to be five blocks wide, standard booth, and that's going to finish it up. So what I'm going to do is, of course, I don't want to waste time building all these booths on camera. I'm going to pause here build the extra four here, finish this one, and then I'll be back in a moment once it's complete. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished the rest of the booths. My maths was actually uh, pretty off. So you can see uh, we've got the booths here and then one, two, three, four, and then the three booths over on this side. So in total, you have nine booths. So again, six on this side, and three on this side. And what we're gonna do to separate it from the main area is we're gonna add some banners that are gonna be hanging from the ceiling. So for these banners, we are gonna need yellow concrete, purple concrete, yellow wool, and purple wool. So again, grab those blocks into your inventory, and then we're gonna split the two areas as I said previously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off on the left side, uh, on sorry, on the right side, next to the cyan terracotta. We're going to place a purple concrete, we're going to go down one, and then we're going to go one, two, three to the left. From here, we're going to place a purple wall, and on top of that, a purple concrete. There should be, if you've done it correctly, a three block gap in between. 
Underneath this, we're going to leave a one block gap. We're then going to place two purple wool and one purple concrete, and that's going to give you a banner that looks like this. We're going to repeat the exact same pattern, this time using yellow. So we're going to leave a one block gap. We're going to place two yellow concrete, one, two, three to the left, one yellow wool, and up one using yellow concrete. We're then going to leave a one block gap. We're going to place two yellow concrete, one yellow, uh, one, sorry, two yellow wool, one yellow concrete, and that's going to be our yellow one. Again, we're going to rinse and repeat again using purple and then eventually again using yellow. So once again, we're going to leave a one block gap. We're going to place two purple. We're then going to go one, two, three to the left, one purple wool and one purple concrete. Underneath, we're going to leave a one block gap and we're going to place two purple wool, one purple concrete. And then one last time, we're going to leave a one block gap, two yellow concrete, one, two, three to the left, one yellow wool, one yellow concrete. And then underneath, one block gap, two yellow wool and one yellow concrete. And it ends up looking something like this. So again, a nice kind of little divider between the two rooms. At this stage, what we're also going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our dark oak wood slabs and we're going to do a little perimeter around the interior of this uh, ceiling so again as i said before that's the reason we did just this uh, outer layer is because we're going to do a slab layer all the way around the exterior or all the way around the bottom should i say of this area here and that's going to wrap around including the window area um, and then in front of these uh, stairs here and then all the way across capping off the rear side of these banners and that's going to wrap up this room now of course you need to fill in the ceiling so the ceiling is going to be in line with the um, layer just above these slabs so again it's going to be two blocks shorter than the actual uh, main ceiling in this room here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do that off camera and then i'll be back in a moment once that is complete all righty so you can see as i've filled in the roof it makes it a lot lot darker in here because we no longer have the kind of natural light coming from outside uh, what i've done to counteract this is on a few of the areas here you can see i put black carpets and then underneath i put some sea lanterns you can also tuck some underneath the tables as a little bit of the light does kind of seep through the stairs and the slab and it just lights up the general area. If you want to make the lighting a bit more obvious, you could just put some in the ceiling if that's what you want to do. Uh, but I kind of actually like the dark look. It makes it look a little creepy. And of course, that is the intention. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light 